Hey Active Friends, we're back in my lounge room today because I want you to get up on the floor and work on an acting exercise with me that's going to help you get better at Shakespeare. This very, very simple exercise that you can do, you can apply to any Shakespeare monologue that you're working on as long as it is in blank verse. So that means it's in iambic pentameter. If you're not sure about what iambic pentameter is or if it's in blank verse, I have videos for both those things, so I'll link them for you in the description so you can pause and go and check because today we are getting a sense of the shape of the line by making the word at the end of the line the most important. The word at the end of each line, not the end of the sentence. Because sometimes you'll see in Shakespeare that sentences finish in the middle of the line. When I was younger, I always thought that Shakespeare kind of just filled up as many syllables as he needed to the end of the line and then started with a new line. But actually, changing from one line to another means something. You put a word at the end of the line so we would kind of make something of it to emphasize it in some way. Now, sometimes we overthink these things. How do I emphasize it? Or we end up making them the same in that we emphasize them all the same way by yelling them, or maybe always down inflecting at the end of the line. But that's not great. So I want you to get in the body and really start to play around with what these line endings can sound and feel like and how it can help you move from one line to the next. So all you need is a hacky sack. And for me, I need my glasses. So <laughs> you might not even call this a hacky sack. A nice uh, softball that's easy to catch that maybe has a little bit of weight to it. So I wouldn't necessarily choose something that's um, too heavy or too bouncy. So this kind of thing is great. Now, because my play of the month is Cymbeline, I'm going to be working on posthumous's Is There No Way For Men To Be But Women Must Be Half Workers. This is a hard monologue and I don't actually know it, so I've got my script here. If you know your monologue, that's great, but you are going to need to know where the ends of lines are. So if you've just learnt the whole thing kind of without understanding where the line endings are, just make sure you've got a script with you. It doesn't matter if you stop and start, as you can see with me probably, because it's all about discovery. Just be curious and see what happens. So what I'm gonna do in this exercise is I'm going to throw up the ball on the last word of every line and then ideally catch it as the next line starts, although that might change a little bit. So don't feel the need to throw it the same way each time. In fact, I would encourage you to try and throw it a slightly different way each time. Something that I wanna mention before we go into this is that you really wanna try and get your body involved. So don't just stand there and throw it like with your hands or your arms. Yeah, it's light so you can just kind of flick it up, but you don't want that. The idea here is that you're trying to engage to your core, which is gonna help you connect to emotion and it will hopefully naturally, instinctively guide you to what feels right. If you just use your arms, there's no way you're gonna to connect to any of that stuff. Other than that, there's not really any rules. Right, so let's have a go. Is there no way for men to be? Okay, here we go. Is there no way for men to be, but women must be half workers? We are all bastards, all. And that most venerable man, which I did call my father, was I know not where when I was stamped. Some coiner with his tools made me a counterfeit. Yet my mother seemed the dying of that time. So does my wife, the non pareil of this. Oh, vengeance, vengeance! Me of my lawful pleasure, she restrained and made me oft and prayed me oft forbearance, did it with a pudency so rosy, the sweet view on it might well have warmed old Saturn that I thought her, that I thought her as chaste as unsun snow. Oh, all the devils! Now, just to be clear, this is not how you're going to perform it. You're not necessarily going to be emphasizing those ends of the words in exactly that way and with that much effort. Obviously, this is a lot, lot bigger. And even then, I struggled to get out of my own patterns. I found that I was kind of repeating the same kind of pitch and the same kind of effort. I really had to challenge myself to be like, okay, how else could I do this? So in my own practice, I would probably do a couple more goes of it. I would probably maybe even try sitting down and trying it, walking around the room and trying it. But generally, it's a really good exercise to challenge yourself to see if maybe 
following that line structure might actually give you some impetus and some understanding and some variety that you wouldn't normally have. One of the thoughts around those line endings generally with Shakespeare is that he's kind of given us those naturalistic pauses that we tend to put in ourselves. You know how people kind of take a minute to pause when they're like thinking about things and often as actors we try and find those moments and we sort of impose them and we put them in there but actually what he's doing by breaking up line endings is kind of doing that for us is giving us a moment to think and switch uh, without necessarily stopping and pausing so if you're new to shakespeare and you're trying this out with me and you're like what is going on thank you very much for being here and thank you for being brave and trying these things it will make you better at shakespeare and if you want to learn more i have a playlist called get better at shakespeare and i'll link it on screen so you can go and have a look at the other verse speaking technique ideas that you can work with if you found this kind of thing helpful can you drop me a comment or like the video so i know what kind of things you want me to make more of and that's it from me today i will see you guys in the next video